what's up guys welcome back to my channel i'm angela altieri if this is your first name here and a welcome to the video today we are uh, we are unboxing and reviewing the kylie leopard collection i have the eyeshadow palette and the lip kit this is her limited edition leopard collection i have leopard nails this is a cheetah print top but close enough so i have this on my eyes today and the lip kit on my lips if you're interested in my thoughts i have a few i have a few so if you're interested in my thoughts swatches how i got this eye look all that jazz and you know the deal you know the drill and you know the vibes let's get it here we have the palette and the packaging it's just a cardboard. It does have the shades in the back. It says Kylie Jenner Press Powder Palette. Yeah. It doesn't even say that it's... They just call it the Press Powder Palette. Like, it's just a Press Powder Palette. They don't have a name for it. Okay? That's quite interesting. Is it not? Packaging. Here's what the palette looks like on its own. It says Kylie and it just says pressed powder palette. Doesn't, I don't know. But why does she not name her eyeshadow palettes? Interesting. Then we have this. It does come with a mirror which is bordered by the leopard print. This is her leopard collection. And then. Here we have the shades, so there are 18 shades, we count one, two, three, actually two of them are like glitter formulas, or is it three of them, and then one true shimmer, the rest are mattes. Lots of mattes in here. A lot of Kylie's pressed powder palettes are mostly mattes, she doesn't put a lot of shimmers in her palettes, so that's up to like personal preference if you prefer this kind of palette with a lot less shimmers. We'll be swatching these and I'll tell you like, I should take this off, the undertone or not the undertone, the shade description. First we have Wild at Heart, which is a satin ivory. I will go over these swatches twice. There's that pretty pigmented for a white. Get my rag. Wipe off my finger. Next is Leoness. Le Leoness? It's not Lioness because it's spelled with an E, but I'm guessing she means Lioness. And this is a matte orange creamsicle. quite light but sorry I feel like the cream is a lot more pigmented than this one next we have love you forever I want to make sure some good swatches this is a matte warm rust very pigmented I really like that shade is it rusty? I feel like it's not very rusty because rust, when I think of rust, I think very red, warm tone. This is pulling a little bit more neutral, at least on camera. It's a little bit more neutral, in my opinion. Next we have Feline Fine, which is a matte warm rust. What? I feel like I'm reading the descriptions online, so I feel like this is... I didn't get enough on there. I feel like this is a matte warm rust, and I think they messed up on the description for the previous shade. I think that's what happened. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's what happened. Then we have a Cheetah Girl. Quite powdery. 
50 shades. This is a matte warm tangerine. I would agree with that. Very pretty actually for a tangerine. Next we have Chrome Kitty, which I was the most excited for. But uh that happens. So that's the second time we're we'll going a third time. And this is loose in the pan. This is a metallic warm gold with champagne glitter. And if I not sure what that's about, but that happens. So I mean, it builds up pretty nicely, but I feel like I shouldn't have to build it up that much to get a nice payoff. So there's that. Next one is Roar. This is a matte soft chestnut. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Is it weird to love like a matte? Because I love that. That'll be used today. 100%. Next is Lucky Leo. Another glittery shade, which also is loose in the pan. I guess just the way they're formulated, they're loose in there. I don't know. It's a metallic rust with copper glitter. Is it copper glitter? Because I see some green and yellow up in there, but definitely a rust. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty. I'm not typically into like true rusty ready shades, shimmers, or glitters. That's That's just a personal preference for me, but it is pretty if that's what you're into. Next is Lucky Leo. Hello? It is very close to my skin tone. I can see it on my arm. But it is very close to my skin tone. At least my arm's color. You can see it a little bit more now very pretty transition shade and tone that is a matte soft taupe is it taupey though Ooh, this is a shimmer oh metallic how i don't know because okay this is a metallic without any shimmer this is golden speed which feels very nice i might use this. This is a metallic golden honey. I like that. I like that. Feels like a very nice formula in my opinion. Next we have seeing stripes. This is a matte soft marigold. Next we have Wild Side. A very interesting shade. But I like it. How will I use it? Don't know. Don't know. This is a matte smoke gray. And it's a very blue tone gray. Very nice, very interesting. I wonder how it'll blend out. I feel like that'll be hard to blend out, especially with it being so blue and cool tone. Like how will it mix with the very warm tones and the rest of the palette? Curious. Next is Exotic Babe, which is another favorite of mine in this palette. Definitely using this today also. 
Can you see it? You can't really see how pretty it is. What's the description? It's metallic icy gold with golden copper glitter. It doesn't feel very glittery. I see the glitter. But I don't really feel it. Does it feel the same as these two? Oh, do you like my nails? <laughs> I did them myself. Oh, yes. But let me try to build it up again. Because this is so pretty. I need that on my eyeballs. Do you see that? It's like stuck. Hmm. I don't know, something about the way her metallics are pressed, the ones with the glitter. I don't know, not my thieve. Next we have Cool Cat. Do you know who Cool Cat is? I do. I do, from Bratz. I'll give you the hint. She's from Bratz. Comment down below if you know who Cool Cat is. This is a matte warm chestnut last one it's pretty panther just a matte black that's one two let's see how black we can get it three four let me see one last one five that's like a gray that's like a gray. Like I know it's black, but it's really not that pigmented. By far. I've seen more pigment in like an alpha eyeshadow. So I mean, it's really, it could be better. All right, so there are all the shadows swatched. I don't know, that gray definitely throws me off. Like, everything else makes sense. It's just the gray it throws me off, and I'm not sure. Like, what kind of look do you make with that gray against all the warm tones? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But while we're here, let's also swatch this Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner Lip Kit in the shade. This has a shade. Can't be tamed same packaging I don't know I don't care about Kylie being on my packaging so just me I don't like just, I don't need it <laughs> I don't need her there okay here's what the lip liner looks like I love the color the tone and like has the pattern also has a pattern so how shall we do this? Let's watch it right here. They're both in the shade Can't Be Tamed and the lipstick is matte as I said. It's a lip liner. I don't think I've tried a Kylie lip liner. They are identical. This is a lot deeper than I expected especially given her like campaign photos it looks like she's wearing a very light nude and this is not very light am i crazy but you know here we are you could also um i didn't see prices <laughs> oh the lip is described as a warm terracotta the lipstick you see, I don't know who's doing Kylie's website. It says matte, it says the Can't Be Tamed Matte Lip Kit is a warm terracotta, but the Can't Be Tamed Lip Liner is a deep warm terracotta. I don't know, somebody needs to be proofreading the website. The lip kit is $29. Can you hear me? The lip kit is $29 as the rest of her lip kits. And the palette is $38. And they're still available if you're interested. So, 
Now, I think I'm just going to breeze through and show you the look I create with the palette. Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living But I don't really care what they all say It's easier said than done Down and I'm okay. Eyes on me, I don't know what to do, so I smile and I wave. Right. Everyone's looking like they know what they're doing. Everyone's looking like they know what I'm pursuing. I'm trying not to give them the time of day. It's easier said than done. That guy, I'm coming to that let me start with the lip kit because I like it. Um, very creamy lip liner. You know, they definitely remind me of ColourPop. Definitely, definitely 
definitely the same packaging. I don't know if it's necessarily the same formula. This is only the first I've tried of Kylie's lip liners, but could surely be the same formula. Same goes for the liquid lip. This is matte. Now I was wearing this eyelash. Oh gee. I am I was wearing this e.l.f. Rider Dye lip balm underneath. These are so good. Oh my god, so good. These are very nourishing, very hydrating. So that was like a lip prep that I didn't necessarily intend to do. I just like to put lip balm on before I do my makeup and literally throughout the entire day. I'm applying lip balm. But that might have helped with the way this liquid lipstick feels. I heard Kylie's matte lips are very, very drying, but I don't feel dry whatsoever. There is some transfer. So it's not transfer proof. When I do go to wipe this product off, it's a little tough, so I know it's long lasting, but it's not 100% stuck on me if that makes any sense so i like the lip products i feel like in her photo shoots her lip looked a lot lighter i'm a medium tan skin tone and this is pretty deep on me so yeah i i like the lip kit i would definitely use these lip products again Oof. If they did returns, I would probably, most likely, like 95% chance I would return this eyeshadow palette. That's just me. As I was using this product, I was thinking about how I wanted to use this for my next makeup video, which has a lot to do with the theme of this palette. And I was really excited to do that until I started using the shadows and I kind of was second guessing that. So I'm going to have to play with this and practice before I actually sit and make the video because it's right now, I, right now, I feel so bad for saying this, but right now I don't like it really. Like, I don't know. You tell me. I did have to put on eyeliner to make sure my lashes blended. And my lashes did not want to stick to this eye look. You tell me. I went to apply this glitter shade and you see the dent in there. We remember what it looked like when I was swatching the palette. Okay. I had to dig and like I can't press on my eye that hard there's just very little payoff with this same happened with exotic babe another glitter Something just happened like when I went to put it on the brush, it wouldn't stick to the brush and I have nails on so it's hard for me to, to apply with my finger. And same for the shimmer, like the shimmer looked good with my finger more so than with the brush. I don't know why that is. I don't know what happened. I don't. And look, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, the shimmers com completely, or the glitters, metallics, whatever, they completely discouraged me from this palette. They swatch beautifully, especially, not beautifully, they swatch really nicely in pictures, like online. Of course, like on her Instagram, but they not hitting. They don't slap. 
they don't slap. Um, this matte ivory shade is like the most pigmented shade of the entire palette. So I'm kind of excited to use that for my next look. The mattes, um, I feel like this blend so low. Um, the mattes that I used, I would say this Heart of a Lion, very, very close to my skin tone. So I had to pile it on a little bit for it to show up, but it is very much like my skin tone. So I can't judge it too harshly for mm -hmm. that. Um, I used Roar as another transition and I also had to build that up and then Love You Forever, this darker brown here. It's it's very cool tone. Not very cool tone, but it's a little bit more cooler than new, just neutral. So I felt like it was pulling a way too cool tone for me to wear the golden shimmer. So I had to add Cool Cat, which definitely warmed it up the way I wanted it to. I just feel like they did blend well. You know? Is it the worst eye look I've had? No. You know what also really threw me off? This black. Oh, 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 horrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not good, this black. It's not. I'm so sorry. It's not good. It's not very pigmented it's not black black like if you're gonna put a black let it be black no let it be black i feel like from this color pop focus focus now this is a black with shimmer no doubt so it's not like black black you know it's not the deepest it could be I feel like this is a lot more pigmented than Kylie's. It looks black on my finger, but then when I swatch it, it looks gray. This is gray. That's gray. That's like a slate. Oh my god. Do I have another black? We're gonna check this Tati Beauty black. I just want to compare blacks because you see that's blacker it's a lot blacker do we see the difference this is a lot more gray Oof. it's just not good I'm sorry it's just not good <laughs> Um, the black could be a lot better. I feel like maybe because I did that, it made me a lot sadder about the palette. Because I didn't like that. And the shimmers, they, they don't do what I want them to do. I feel like my ColourPop palettes do a lot more than this. And I've... I thought they made in the same lab. I mean, the unicartons. This is Hocus Pocus. This is Kylie. Same unicarton. Same unicarton. Why? I don't know. And and I just oh, ColourPop is better. ColourPop is better. You might as well just go get a ColourPop palette. Um, like I said, if I could return it, I would return it. I will be using it again. Probably try some stuff out tomorrow or the next day for the next video I want to put out. Because the mattes aren't too bad. The shimmers completely threw me off. Like, why put the shimmers if they are garbage? that harsh why put them if they're garbage only one shimmer is 
decent. It wasn't even like that gold wasn't even the best gold I have. The ColourPop uh -huh, Honey golds are much, much, much better. In my opinion. So, the lip kit, I give like 5 out of 5. Pretty color. I'll wear it again. My lips don't feel too dry. I'm sure it'll last long. Nice creamy lip liner. They match very well. 5 out of 5. This, 1 out of 5. Okay, I'll give it 2 out of 5. I'll give it two out of five. <laughs> For my next makeup video, um, if I use it in that video, I'll let you know my updated thoughts. If I don't use it, I'll let you know my updated thoughts. Because if I don't use it for the next video, that means I do not like it. I'll probably give this to someone because you can't return it. And I doubt anyone will buy this and like me reselling it because it's still available online. Is it a bad batch? Maybe. I, I don't know. I hope it's just a bad batch. Because it's not good. It's not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Like, Kylie. What happened? Mm, I feel so bad betrayed and bamboozled this isn't my first kylie eyeshadow palette i used to have the one with like the blue in it i think it was like a 12 pan palette or not the i had the was it blue honey i think i had that and i sold that didn't really care about it i mean that was years ago i thought they would fix the issues it sucks like i'm really tight <laughs> I'm tight. I don't like it. I will try it out again. Those are my thoughts. I feel so bad because I thought I would really like it and I thought this would be a nice staple. Like the shimmers are nice. Like this could be a nice neutral everyday palette. It's just that this bronzy tone, which is the shade I would wear every day instead of the gold, because I don't really like yellow golds that much. Especially for every day. But I thought this would be a nice, like, go-to staple. And this... Ain't it. I have the co the ColourPop California Love Palette. And... Yeah, there are some differences. But I feel like... Well, not even that many differences. But... Look, let's swatch... El Capitan, which is their glittery shade. Like, you see, that's what we need. And the red, reddish tone shade. You see, this is, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for, and I didn't get. So, I'm kind of upset. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> but again I'll, I'll keep I'll keep trying it and I will update you all so that's the end of this video I wasn't expecting it to, to actually turn out this way I was hoping to really really like it I really was I really wanted to like it especially since I spent $30 on it but okay guys, let me know what you think of this palette. Did you even do you even care? Do you even care about this palette? Do you care? I don't know. You you let me know. It didn't sell out, so I don't know. Maybe people really just don't care about this palette. They don't care about Kylie anymore. I thought it was really cute. So I got it. And I'm disappointed in it. <laughs> uh I could have gotten the Mitchell palette instead. I'm probably been happier but 
anyways that's the end of this video thank you guys so 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 much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you like this video hit the like button down below comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if it fell in froggy i post every thursday and sunday if you like me and you like this video share it to a friend one friend all your friends instagram twitter and like all my social media down below i like my website down below if you're interested in any jellies Okay, I link my website down below if you're interested in a Jelly's treasure box, which is my very own makeup mystery box. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and hope to catch you in the next one. Bye!